When I woke up this morning and saw that kid in the little foreign release a track out of the blue, I knew the record was coming. I didn't know I was getting a single today. Uh, I was so excited, man. I love me some Millen Form, as you cats know. Top of the, the production pyramid for me. I don't even know how this cat sleeps, man. Every time I turn around, he's putting out an album, putting out a new song. Guys, it's amazing. And then you got Keith Ledger, who has that swagger that never seems to uh, to fail to make me smile, man. I, I, uh, to me, this is an interesting uh, combination uh, to check out. I, I, I'm really interested to see how this is going to work. Um, I have a feeling too that this is one of those tracks, judging by the title, it's kind of like that tremendous track we did where yeah, it was two singles and one single basically, because uh, this is thick lip one way or another. So, hey yeah, man, I'm excited. Let's jump in, see what it's all about. Right off the bat, man, Ill Informed comes with this. Like I was saying, I was interested to see how they work together. So right away, man, he, he's right, right in that uh, teeth ledger groove, man. It's got this little bit of a wavy sound to it. Even before the beat drops, you just get this sense that this is going to be something nasty uh, that Daddy just takes and just like a like a hungry dog with a bone type of shit, man. You know what he's going to do with it. He just you just get the sense with that wavy is wavy sound oh man uh, they asking who did it it was probably me i'm always in some shit nah you don't want to be me i got a bag full of goods and i got it for free got eyes on your property g a monopoly g they know i'm shy steve but slightly they don't like me i'll leave them with zero like the dice reads five freeze nah. pillow over their heads if they try sleep i'm trying to get my money in hell no tight leash it's tight wings for no man <laughs> man man i got i gotta say he's on he's on his shit right here like i said man he's got that swagger he comes right in saying man if something's wrong it's probably me it's probably me who's causing the shit because i'm always in it and you don't want to be me I mean, take that a couple of different ways, right? I mean, you don't you don't want to be him because he's always getting himself in trouble. He's always got shit he's got to deal with the law. But I guess also physically, you never really want to be in shit, right? But um, physical shit. Um, I love that, man. He's talking about, you know, you try to sleep on him. He's going to come in and snuff you with the pillow that you're using. Uh, he's got your eye on your, on your property. And he's like cheating on him in Monopoly. Um, he's got a bag of shit that, he didn't pay for it, meaning he probably stole that shit. And I, and I really dig that last bar, man, where he's, where he's like, he's trying to get his money and heal. And I'm thinking like, get well, uh, health-wise, well-being. But then he jumps straight in and brings it together on the next bar where he's like, no tight leash, which we, that's how you heal your dog. You pull back on that shit and you make your dog heal. Man, this is, this is so nice, man, so far. With zero, like the dice reads five freeze. Nah. Pillow over their heads if they try sleep. I'm trying to get my money in hell. No tight leash, cause time waits for no man like tick tock. They're fishing a barrel, and this barrel holds six shots. If it's war, I'm like 50 to this Rick Ross. Nah. Your baby's mother at my house in a flip flops. Nah. <laughs> On some modern sun shit. Oh man, like I said, dude, he shooting fish in a barrel, but this barrel has six shots. Nice pulling that together, man. That wordplay, bringing that back again. And then he brings up that freaking Rick Ross 50 cent beef where I think they sued his ass, man, because uh, they said that he released that sex tape, uh, 50 cent did, uh, with with Rick Ross's baby mama. Uh, I think they got a bunch of mad cash from that too, man. But he countersued or something because... Um, I think he said that it was all a publicity stunt on their part like to make money or get his money but <laughs> yeah he went there man i love that though uh i love that this that's the swagger that's the swagger you're going to get from this cat barrel in this barrel holds six shots if it's war i'm like 50 to this rick ross your baby's mother at my house in a flip flops ah uh, on some modern sun Tzu shit i'm trying to fight smart i ain't talking kung fu kicks you're on some i don't know you but still i love you bitch i'm on some treat that girl better so she dug you 
I've been up, then I've been down when my luck changes. I've seen a whole lot of thick lips and bust faces. I've been slipping, I've been nicked, and I bust cases. Live a real life, I'm trying to upgrade it, upgrade it. Uh, I've been up, then I've been down when my luck changes. I've seen a whole lot of thick lips and bust faces. This is circle, I've been stuck ages. I've took risks, took L's, cut losses, now I'm upgrading. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, here we go. Here we go. You're gonna, yeah, they're going to switch it up here, man. You, you hear that? If the record crack will come in. Uh, this is going to be, I guess, the second part of the song. Um, you know, they got those bells coming in. Record crackle. The beat stops. Yeah. That that whole thing, man, that, that hook of the chorus, wherever the hell you want to call it, was really nice, too. Um, so far, so good, man. Okay, <clears throat> I, I enjoyed that first beat that Ill Informed uh, put on that first part of this track, man. But this right here, this is something special. This is this is classic Ill Informed, but this is something more than that. This is actually, to me, it feels like some like East Coast and West Coast hip hop. You know, they 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 mix together to create because it's got this East Coast heavy bass. You feel, you know, you feel that shit right in your chest that you love. That those those drums that just everyone hits home. But then he's got a little bit of that West Coast uh, Dr. Dre type feel with the the synth the synth or whatever he's using back there, just pulling that shit together, man. Like fusing that the two the two coasts together in one sound. So sweet, man. It's so, so, so friggin' awesome. Wow. I bust three zannies and do an aggravated robbery. Uh, Get back to playing temptation and toxicology. Got the old bill on my ass like sodomy. <laughs> Seems like every turn I'm taking, they follow me. Man, I'm sweet. Uh, Boozing off this bag of beak. Cause lack of sleep got me doing. There's one bar that I really wanted to stop it and I didn't. Um, but that whole last part, man, that second half of this song was, like I said, it was a really cool mix of, of, of different types of East Coast, West Coast sound. It was, it was, you know, Daddy just going off on just flexing the whole way. A couple of really cool, cool bars like Jack and These Jills was cool, man. So, you know, something simple, but it just, it's so nice the way that it, that came out. Um, the, the whole thing too, man, where, what do you say something about, like, he's talking about himself, he's talking to himself, but basically about his own mental illness, um, or having conversations with himself, which kind of, you know, um, he's trying to basically say that he has, like, split personality, um, but yeah, man, that, 
that that uh, and, and the fact too is he has so much cocaine up his nose that he could basically uh, pick his you know pick the boogers and then like he'd, he'd have a gram full of coke left over. Um, just some cool one-liners, man. That second half of the song, um, really really enjoy what they're doing here. And I mean, I, hey, when you see that to be continued, you can't, you can't do anything but smile, man. This is like exciting that these guys are getting together to do this album. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, if this song is any indication, man. I'm a big fan of this. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming by, checking it out. Uh, make sure you go over to High Focus on YouTube. Uh, give it a give it a listen. Give it a watch. Go buy this shit, man. Stream stream this shit. Pre-order the record. You guys know what to do. Uh, support these guys as much as you can. Uh, appreciate you, each and every one of y'all for coming by, checking it out. Um, I love each and every one of y'all. I hope to do some stuff on the weekend. The weather's supposed to be shit, so we'll see. Um, if not, I'll see you on Monday. Until then, stay safe. Be good to each other.